A tower on distant shore. And about its peak, a piercing mist. And in that mist, the sun crest waits. My lady, your words still sound of doubt. Pray you reach your answer ere we the sun crest. And? Should I choose revenge, what then? Then your woe shall be your own. Vaughn, a word. If something untoward should happen to me, you're taking the straw. Untoward? What's this about? I am the leading man. I need to do something heroic. Don't worry, I'll show you how to fly her. Hey everybody, welcome back to Final Fantasy XII International, the English Pass made by FF Giver. Okay, this is the next story related area. In the last episode, I showed you how to get the, um, how to get the, uh, the Excalibur Sword in the International Version, okay? In the International Version, you have to go all the way to Ultima, okay? And so, that's gonna take some strong stats, because you have to, you have to beat it to keep it, okay? In the English Version, you don't have to go that far. It's a, it's a 25% chest around those, uh, horses, okay? Then and I told you I always get this before it comes to the fields because this place has pretty much nothing but holy but uh, enemies who are weak to holy. Okay. Uh, so since I'm playing this next version, I I was able to beat ultimate at this point of the game, but it wasn't easy. I got my butt kicked really hard there. Okay, so. Uh, I also showed you uh how to get this um this shield right here. Okay, I have three of them. Okay, very easy. Okay. All right, so this is the next story related area. All right. And I don't want to go back to the Great Crystal, so let me just uh, save my game here. Those of you who are joining me, uh, remember that this is the uh, this is the the international version. So most most of the stuff I'm showing you is exclusive to the international version. Okay. Uh, those of you who are playing the English version, and you're playing along. Uh, you aren't gonna have like staff and the magic at this point in the game. Uh, you know, Scorpion Tail. If is Scorpion Tail in your version, okay. Uh, this is a new item. The Arm Guard is, is actually a Berserker, okay. You aren't gonna have the Holy Rod at this point in the game unless you uh, find one in the uh, Selby Step, okay. Uh, and stuff like that. You know, the Orchid End. This is a new, a new Ninja Sword. It's, it's the same one from the old version. It's stronger. You know, it's not. It's non elemental stuff like that. You know, Holy Lance is strong and stuff like that. So. Most of this is exclusive to the international version, so I'm, I'm just showing you the, the differences for those of you who want to see the differences in, in the international version. But those of you playing the English version and you're playing along, this isn't a hard game, so as, as long as you're constantly uh, upgrading your weapons and leveling up, you'll be okay. Okay, this is not a hard game, okay? Alright, uh, oh, here we have one of the Rare Hunt game monsters, okay? You can steal the sweet from this thing, but uh, I'll save him for the Rare Hunt movie, okay? I can kill him right now if I wanted to, but we're not going to do that. Uh, I'm going to save him for the movie uh, featuring all 80 rare monsters, okay? Which is why I choose, I choose not to kill him. And there's another rare monster in this very room, I believe, where you have to kill everything, then come back. And that's, and matter of fact, that's how you get the strongest uh, crossbow in the uh, English version, okay? Okay, and this area is very, very familiar to all of us by now. This area is very, very familiar to all of us, thanks to a certain monster with 50 million hit points. Okay, we will deal with him later. Much, much later, okay? But Ashley with... Uh, oh my god! And they're just tearing each other apart now. Okay. Damn traps, I told you. Uh, this is the only way uh, Berserk and Confusion can coexist. The only way Berserk and Confusion can coexist is if you step on the trap and both of them are caused at the same time, okay? So, other than that, Berserk and Confusion cannot coexist, and I'm just gonna sit here until it wears up because I'm too lazy to go to the menu and change my party members. Come on now, wear off, please. Thank you. 
And Riddus has arrived this time around. Nice, nice, nice. And I can also control him. Okay. Once again, uh, in the international version, you have you have uh, you have control over the uh, over the guest characters this time around, as well as the Espers. And there's a new gamut, by the way. Ali guests. Yes, I, I I can target guests with my spells now, and so on and so forth. So I can you know I can know uh, that that makes it faster. Okay, so all right. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let me just uh, stop that shit from happening again. Okay. Okay, sorry about that little delay. Hey! Sorry about that little delay there. Okay. Ugh. Damn, I hate these floor traps. Okay. Anyway, this is where we fight Yazmet, but uh, we'll deal with that guy later. And note that in the international version, he's a lot, he's a lot easier. Simply because uh, Ribbon um, doesn't block reverse this time around. And... It doesn't seem like it, but that actually makes a big, a big difference. The fact that Ribbon does not block reverse in this version makes a big difference on, on the Yazmat fight. You no longer have to have to like you know switch with power belt. I mean power armor and stuff like that. So you can just you can uh, equip your Ribbon and where the hell am I going? You can equip your Ribbon and still cast a uh, reverse on yourself. This means. Uh, you, you don't have to worry about his uh, sap and his um and his uh, stop effect from um from the um cyclone and the storm breath. Not only that, but reverse lasts is longer than it did in the English version. In the English version, reverse lasts about what eight seconds. In this version, it lasts about what 15, 20 seconds. And trust me, that makes a big difference on the Yazmat fight. But thanks to another nerf, uh, in this version you you don't even you don't even need reverse to beat him. You don't need you don't need it in the English version, but it'll be damn near impossible without it. Um, unless you uh, stand on stairs and shoot guns like little cowards, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna take him head on. And uh, wither, wither is hard to get in this version. Wither is very very. It's like a what five percent chest. Okay, wither is hard to get in this version. And for a good reason. This time around, Wither works on bosses, including Yazmet. You can Wither Yazmet down in this version, and his attacks do like what? 800 at the most, something like that. So, Yazmet is, is a complete pushover in this uh, international version. Which is probably why they decided to create the trial mode. The trial mode is kind of difficult because you're going to be constantly changing your, um, changing your, uh, your, your gamuts and, and, your, and, your, and your style of fighting and so on and so forth because, you know, you need this set to be that boss, and you need this set to be that boss, and so on and so forth. So, yeah, the trial mode is kind of challenging, all right. But once again, that's going to be the very, very last thing that we do in this uh, LP here. Those who have the English version, unfortunately, cannot do the trial mode, and there should be a lot of traps up here. And there are. They expect you. They expect you to come here and head for that crystal. So they're going to try to give you a game over. Okay. We're not going to do that, and I don't need to say because there's another save crystal coming up really soon. As well as a boss fight, and this boss carries, uh, there's a sweep, for those of you who are using pose. Uh, actually, in this area, there are, are a lot of, uh, most of the stuff that, um, that you can buy at this point in the game, like Holy Lance and the, and the, and the, and the, and a certain katana, you can, uh, pick them up here, but, you know, I got the money, so I'm too lazy to farm it from the chest, so I just buy it anyway, okay, so. Okay, uh, this boss has a certain uh, steel item that I want to try to get. I'm probably not going to get it, but it's not going to hurt to try. And uh, I need to take out Ash because she's going to kill that guy in like, in like five seconds. The fail is at Rido, Rido Rana. Okay, I really need to work on my pronunciation here. But English was never my best subject. My best subject in school was math and science. Okay, so. All right. Uh, I don't know why I do this, but for some reason, every time I enter here, I love to have Penella walk slowly. I just, I don't know why. Every time I come to this spot, I just love to watch Penella walk here. I don't know why. I just do. Probably because I did it in my, uh, in my Penella solo, and I've been doing it ever since. Okay. That's enough of that. Let's continue. 
You know, Fran is very sexy. The only thing I don't like about Fran is is those uh, nails on on her, on her arm. I, I don't like those. I don't like those claws she has. It's kind of scary. But other than that, she's just really really hot. Okay. And uh, the first thing we run into here is a zombie, and suddenly it comes to life, and it's going to attack us now, of course. Alright, as I was saying, this boss has a certain steel item that I want to try to get. I'm probably not going to get it. But, uh, this is the earliest that you can get it, so why not try stealing one, if, especially if you're using uh, monks. And I think this guy does a lot of status effects, so watch out for that. Alright, what do you got here? Hydra. Hand it over! Maggoty Flesh. I didn't get it. Come on, man. I have a thief I have the thief gloves on. Give me a break. Oh well. Uh if you if you use the thief gloves, you have a 30% chance of getting a quartz fly, which is needed to make the whale whisker. Alright. And uh like all storyline bosses in the international version, uh I'll just uh make short work of him. Especially since he's uh, weak to holding and Ash is just mopping the floor you back there. Die! 20,000! Alright. In the English version, if you use uh, three holding lances, you'll, you'll be out of this mess very quickly. But I told you, I always get the I always get the Excalibur before coming here because there's practically nothing here but monsters who are weak to holding. I refuse to end this place without the Excalibur. Yes, yes, yes. I love it when they all have their weapons out. You know what? It, 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 is there a way to, like, you know, to, to choose uh, what, what victory pose they do? Kind of like the Street Fighter games. If you, like, hold a certain button, you know, you'll get, like, a certain victory pose. Every time I use Chun Li, I have a the one where she spreads her legs. Okay. Ha! Huh, I'm such a pervert. Speaking of Chun Li, uh, apparently, if those of you who are diehard Chun Li fans, um, and you also and you happen to live in uh in in Atlanta, Atlanta, Georgia, uh, Anime Weekend Atlanta is coming up really really soon. Okay. The person who did Chun Li's uh, voice in Street Fighter Four is gonna be there. Okay. I'm gonna take my Chun Li Raw School and I'm gonna have her sign it. Okay. Now, there's a certain item here that I want to get, and there it is. The second arm guard. Okay, I don't know if there are any more in the game, but this is your second one. This is actually a 25% chest, so I got lucky here. So now I have two of these, which means that I'm going to let Fran take a little break, and I'm going to get Barthir right here, since Barthir has the holy lance. And there we go. I got two berserkers with holy items, so this place is going to be a piece of cake. All right. Uh, actually, I can even put that on Penelope, and even she can do some damage now with the Holy Lance, with the Holy Rod, okay. Cutscene, let me shut up, and we're gonna get another good look at Ash's sexy walk through this cutscene, alright. Hey, friend, something's written on the wall. Engraved by someone, it seems. Hmm, it's quite old. Lo, seeker in days unborn, God blade bearer, know you, this tower challenges the sky. Where the watcher, the ward of the three weights, soul hungry, unsated. He without power, want it not. He with power, trust it not. He with sight, heed it not. Rend illusion, cut the true path. In blood, wraith wall. The Dynast King? <laughs> Does it startle you? The Dynast King took his sword from the Ocuria. It was here he claimed the Nethysite. He must have known he was not the last the Ocuria would choose. He left this for you. Rend illusion, cut the true path. Words of much mystery, yet his blood runs in your veins. Perhaps it whispers to you the truth. There it is!
Okay, we're gonna be here for a very, very, very long time, alright? So, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna activate this uh, teleport crystal here, okay? Okay, there are only a few noteworthy treasure chests here in the English version. In the English version, in the Pharaohs, uh, you can get unlimited white maskers and uh, unlimited black robes. You get the Holy Rod here, you also get the Dooley Mask and the Zeus Mace. In this version, all these treasures are completely different. Uh, some of these things are still here in this version, but they're not responsible this time around. So, in a way, we will deal with those when we get there. Let's just move it on. Let's just move it, move it, move it, move it, move it! Now, this is a very, very long uh, level here. This is actually the longest level in the game right here. You're, you're going to be here for a while, alright? You're going to be like doing a lot of backtracking and stuff like that, so it's going to be quite annoying. Okay, uh, the, for your first time here, every time you kill these little monsters here, they drop this right here. I think in the uh, English version, they drop it sometimes. However, in the international version, each and every single time you kill a monster here, during, during the story, not, not after you beat it, they drop a black orb, okay? And uh, you might want to make sure you pick up each and every single one because uh, if you plan on uh, doing everything, like the Shadow Sea and stuff like that, you're going to need a lot of these. Give me, give me, thank you. You're going to need a lot of these, so you might want to pick up each and every single one you find, okay? Alright, here we have these uh, horses that we took fire, but they're not that much of that. Die. You know what? Ash is just. That's just way too. Look at this. She's doing like twenty thousand back there. She she's just way too strong back right there. Uh, I might take her out, but oh, what the hell? This is the international version. This is the international version. Okay, so if you're playing the international version, you will be this strong. Uh, why am I not picking up these uh, things? I forgot that quick. I need to pick up each and every one of these. Die! Look at that. Thirty thousand. Wow. Uh, first timers. First time is if if using a knight, I recommend you you get this uh this Excalibur. It, it is your best friend because late in the game you fight a lot and I mean a lot of monsters who are weak to holding. And remember this time around uh, you can break the damage barrier and look at that twenty eight thousand. Wow, look at that. Give me the black orb. Okay. Uh, this place is kind of like a giant maze. Basically, uh, what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be killing these uh, gardens, and uh, you know, every time we every time we beat them, uh, you know, a new a new way opens to us. But before I can fight the first one, I have to um, get enough black orbs to uh, you know open the gate, which is why I'm, I'm killing these guys non-stop and farming them. So, die thirty thousand. Wow. All right, so. Penelope doing 3,000. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad for a white mage. Because, you know, what white mage in, in this game really aren't made for attacking. See that? Uh, I, I don't remember how it was in, in the English version, but in this version, each, all of them, every, every time you kill them, they, uh, they drop something. Uh, that Chimera head is needed to make the, um, the stone blade, which is the second strongest uh, one-hand sword in the English version. In this version, it's completely useless. There's just no point in getting that damn thing in this version, okay? Herm Sandals. There you go. This is where you get another pair of Herm Sandals. I believe this is a 100% chest. It is not respawnable, okay? I have two of these now. Die! Get him, girl! Alright. Back up, and there's one here. Uh, remember, uh, these are black orbs are only stay around for about 10 seconds. If, if you don't pick them up, they'll, like, you know, disappear and stuff. So, make sure you get them quickly. A church chest. Nah, I see you. I knew you were an imposter. Give me that. Thank you. 
Got crystal iron ore. I'm gonna next time I next time I play this game, I'm gonna use the jobs that I never used before. I'm gonna use like a uh, machinist and time mage and archer. I've I've never used those jobs while playing this game. I I just want to see the, um, the the increases on the license board and stuff. And plus, I like bows. I like the Zygotaz bow. The 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 Zygotaz bow is my favorite weapon. I like the Zygotaz bow too. It's just that it's invisible. You know, I I want to actually see the weapon. You know. But oh well, die. Uh, notice that uh, um, I'm controlling Red here once again in the international version. You, you can control the uh, guest members, and a lot of people actually do most of the side quests while Red is here because he's the best partner. But I'm not gonna do that. All right, I'm gonna just go ahead and uh, get get on with the story, and I'll um, I'll have um, you know. Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, come on, where is it? Where is it? Where are they? Mm, there we go. Connor's tear removes a uh, slow and a uh, stop this time around. All right. In things version, it only removes a uh, stop, I believe. One of my one of my uh, friends informed that to me. Die. You too. Gimme. Gimme. You know what? I actually had a lot of fun here. Uh, my first time playing the game. I had Ash um, as my magic user. And watching her wield that uh that holy rod was just just very sexy. <laughs> okay, we got the map, so now we can clearly see where we're going. Uh, let's see here. I should have enough black orbs now, so let me just go. Let me just uh, get on with it. I'm not gonna fight anymore here. I have enough black orbs. Uh, let me get that. Drop crystal. That's it. Alright. Actually, I need well, I need those, but I have 99 by now thanks to the um, thanks to the uh, you know Hell Gate flames. Okay, so anyway, what you want to do is uh, activate these uh, little things right here. There are three of them here, I believe. Come on now, use black orb. Thank you. All right, now we gotta find the other two. I wonder where they could be. Let's, uh, did I go in here? Okay, yeah, let me go back in here. I was originally gonna try to get all this into into one movie, this uh, whole fails level, but this is this is a this is a very 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 long level, so I'm probably not gonna do that. All right, I'm probably just gonna split this into two parts. You know. I probably do like the first two bosses, then do the last two bosses and uh, something like that. I don't know. Die! Uh, English players, uh, you aren't gonna have a permanent berserk. Just uh, keep casting it. All right. Use your holy lances. Uh, the holy lance will probably be your overall best weapon at this point of the game. In in this level, you're playing the English version, okay? But in in this version, uh, pretty much anything is good, really. Die! Man, ass is just whooping y'all butt with that Excalibur. I love it. In the English version, it's only going to do 9,999, but that's more than enough to take care of these guys because they've only got, like, what, 10,000 hit points, so a couple of attacks and they're dead. Chime ahead. Okay, let me move this along. Uh, let's see. Let me move it. Let me move it. Move it. Move it. Move it. This is where the boss is. The boss is in there, but we'll deal with him later. It's a giant turtle, which is a uh, kind of annoying to fight, by the way. Especially in the uh, in the hunt with the shouts here. That guy is really, really annoying. The shouts here hunt. Am I even going the right way? Man, I hate mazes. I'm I'm just not good at at mazes. I I, I always get lost in mazes, you know. Especially now uh, that I'm I'm doing a live commentary while I'm playing the damn game. I told you sometimes it's hard to. Come on now, thank you. Sometimes it's hard to. What we got here? Oh, that wasn't. Uh, I couldn't see because the screen was dark. Sometimes it's hard to do a live uh, commentary while playing a game. I hate darkness. Uh, okay. All right, let's get out here. We're getting cream. Damn, stats effects. 
Okay, uh, let's add with the other one. The other one is uh, right here. I passed it. Damn. Here we go. Avatar of the Night. Use Black Orb. The second seal has been broken. Where's the third one? The third one is at the beginning. Let's go back there. Thank you, Pinello. Okay, now let's activate the third. Wait, wait a minute. It's over here, I believe. Uh, come on. Here we go. Here's the third one. Avatar of the Night. There we go. Use Black Orb. Damn headphones. This thing's starting to hurt my ear a little bit. All right, uh, the seal and door has been broken. Now, how much more to bet we have to go to this room right here? Okay, let's go. And then let me, uh, since I'm using a swap magic, let me just go ahead and save my game in case the CD skips and the game resets or something. Sometimes it does that, you know, um, these uh, imported games and copy of the games, uh, sometimes it, it'll stop working for whatever reason. So, which is why I save my game a lot. All right, let's go back to where we were a minute ago. See, this one's in faith, so... And they have like a, a fire attack that can that can hurt you a little bit, so. But they're not that much of a threat. Just be careful here if you're playing these runs, because you're going to have like maybe 2,000 hit points at the most, and these guys can't hurt you, okay? So. Man, I hate that blind attack, man. You want to die that badly? Jesus, and you disabled me too? Come on, give me a break. Okay, this boss is a... Uh, you know what? I actually don't know how to do this. There's going to be like five of these uh, giant shell things just sitting down on the ground. You have to step it to the right one to um, to trigger the fight. I, I don't know exactly how this works, but I always uh, forget this. I always uh, forget this, okay? so. And uh, let me uh, get Vaughn out here. Okay. What are you doing? Oh, that was my gimmick setup for the Ultima fight. Yeah, okay. And what I was saying, I don't know exactly how to how to trigger this uh this boss fight here. You have to if you go oh, I got on the right I got on the first one, okay. If you go to the wrong one, it'll teleport you back to like the beginning or something like that. Okay, so All right, your first boss in this room. This is a very annoying boss in English version because when he, when he gets like health, health, he makes himself completely immune to attacks for about for a long time. Uh, Angel Turn Shell, that's all I got. Okay, if you haven't made your turn so yet, you might want to try stealing from this guy because he has a chance. He has a, it's a six percent steal and he has a nugget of Scarlet type. I didn't get it, but I don't need it, so I do not care. Just thought I would note that. And I don't want you stealing anymore. Just attack. Okay. Oh, I forgot. He's immune to uh, holy. He's immune to elements. Well, most of them anyway. That's okay. Torso. That's more like it. Wait a minute. Oh, Penelope, you too. Damn. Okay. Uh, a fast way to to beat this guy before he uh, does that is to uh, just when he's at like half half. Use like a long uh, animation item, like a holy mode or something like that. They have your party members attacking while he's doing that, but that's okay. I don't have to do that here. He's not going to be alive long. Oh, yes, Ash. See, he, did, he didn't even get a chance to do his perfect defense. <laughs> See, this is what makes the international resident easier. The, you know, breaking the damage barrier and the fact that you're a lot stronger than you would be. So, Ash just... That that foil combo just really screwed him over there. So he's gonna be kind of annoying in the English version because he's, he's gonna do perfect defense. Just uh, hold out, keep up your health, and then when it wears off, just let him have it. All right? He's not hard, just annoying as hell. <laughs> 